Minshew Elementary, an Intel Corporation, 2012 School of Distinction in Science. It was so exciting to be chosen for the Intel Award. I think it was 68 questions, and it was all about our science. And it was so amazing because someone came from Intel to see what was going on in our building. When he left our building, he said, wow, that place has the wow factor because our kids sing science, they dance science, they touch science. Um, all of our teachers just make it come alive. Raise your hand if you know what a compass rose is. Ryan, what's a compass rose? It tells you where, it tells you where the treasure is. Like it, and it tells, and when the, and when it's pointing to west, that means you're going west. So we have so much going on here. We have a butterfly garden. Our first graders hatch chicks. Our second graders um, hatch butterflies, which they release to our butterfly garden. Our fifth graders study the body system, um, and they interact with all the experiments. Um, our fourth graders, they take apart owl pellets. So I'll pour about 50 millimeter, milliliters in there. Or, you want me to, or should I move it to 100? I think it's just awesome and we get to do fun experiments and learn more about everything we need to know. The atoms in solids are very tightly packed and the atoms in gas fly around all out of whack and that liquid flows and the atoms move slow and the atoms move um, I like how my teacher makes it really fun and how we um, get, to, get to learn and experience the science method. Can anyone here remember how you found the volume of a cube? And then sometimes um, we always get to test it out and then, and then we do it all as a class and write it down in our notebooks. Science notebooks, we, we do three column notes and we first of all look at the vocabulary and they get a definition and then we always draw the picture so they have an idea of, of what we're talking about. I like that we can always like just test it out and Miss Rogers always tells us our, um, tells us her, her stories about how every time she t tries it out it always ends up bad. <laughs> And when things don't work out, that's when I tell my <laughs> that's when I tell my stories about what happened, and and that's why we do more than one experiment. We'll do trials to make sure we get that same result and that same conclusion. Same. So what what, what the volume say? It, it stayed the same. And then we have an amazing science vertical team, and we build on our vocabulary, and we start in kindergarten, and we all talk the same language, and. That vertical team, K through five, really talks about science in our building. What is it gonna look like for a kindergartner and what is it gonna look like for a fifth grader? In 2006, our science scores and Karen oh, just- they went through the roof. They, we <laughs> were so at 78% mm -hmm. and then um, last year we were up to 98% 90. mm -hmm. and it was just all was, a team effort. It was amazing. And then to be recognized by a corporation mm -hmm. oh like gosh, Intel, Intel that was, was just- amazing unbelievable because they believe in the school system and that's just the most mm -hmm. exciting thing they believe in our kids and you know we're growing the future mm -hmm. and when we talk to them about what they want that's what we're doing here we're teaching our kids to collaborate we're teaching our kids to problem solve you know science and math we're just integrating it into all we do I'm just imagining this wonderful this wonderful school where, where, where everybody is just so excited about learning and science and the, I just, I just love to be here. <laughs> I can't tell you. I can't tell we you. We love to be here. We love it. We do. <laughs>